EVs, electric vehicles, they're in the news nonstop, and not just because Tesla CEO can't stop tweeting about them. We're hearing about them all the time as part of the energy transition discussion. Everyone's getting in on the EV game, even GM. One of America's oldest car companies recently announced that they are ceasing production of internal combustion engines by the year 2035. I mean, cars that don't run on gasoline nor diesel, and they produce zero emissions. What's not to like? What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay Corley with Digital Wildcatters. Today, we're going to be talking about batteries, minerals, the things that are needed to produce EVs, these electric vehicles, the raw materials. We're talking about things that come from the ground. So as with a lot of things, it's a little bit more complicated than just wanting greener vehicles. There's a cost, and that cost right now is actually pretty expensive. First, let's dive into the technical side of what it takes to make an EV battery. Just like every other part in a car, batteries have to be built and manufactured. And while the car itself is playing a big role in having a more sustainable future, we can't overlook the irony that batteries must be produced from materials that must be mined or through a very industrial process, very similar to the fossil fuels that they are looking to replace. These materials like lithium, nickel, cobalt, and graphite come with a lot of baggage. They're either difficult to access or they're rare, or it's a combination of both. So while the desire to accelerate a full-scale EV transition is a noble cause, are we really asking ourselves the right questions about what it's really going to take to get there? Let's dive into this a little more. The critical minerals that EVs require, the lithium, the nickel, the cobalt, and graphite, like we mentioned, are extremely rare and are concentrated in certain parts of the world. In the specific case of lithium, the darling of the EV movement, China, Australia, and Chile produce over 85% of the world's lithium. So as you can see, supply is incredibly limited to just certain areas. EV batteries require these minerals in very large quantities, as do other forms of renewable energy, such as solar and wind. Well, how much more? Well, an EV car uses about five times more than a conventional car. Then this is the geopolitics that we have to consider. China owns a dominant position over the entire EV battery value chain. It's responsible for 85 to 90% of the processing operations that convert mined rare earth minerals into metals and magnets needed for EV batteries. In other words, they basically have a monopoly on the mineral processing game. Probably not good. So where does the US come into play? Well, there's currently only one lithium mine in the entire United States, and that is the Albemarle Corporation's Silver Peak Mine in Nevada. Unsurprisingly, Tesla recently built their gigabattery factory right outside of that location. But this mine doesn't produce nearly enough lithium to meet expected demand. There are other lithium mining projects that are in the works, including Berkshire Hathaway's lithium mine project in California, but it's really unsure whether that's actually going to meet demand either. The tight supply of these materials has a significant impact on the price of EVs, which is another barrier to mass adoption. The battery pack alone counts for 25% of the total cost of an electric vehicle. While it has come down a lot in recent years, from $1,000 per kilowatt hour in 2010 to $150 per kilowatt hour in 2019, but it still needs to come down a lot further. For example, GM just announced their brand new Hummer. Starting price, $110,000. Not really attainable for maybe the average uh, consumer. The U.S. Department of Energy set a goal for the industry to ultimately achieve $85 per kilowatt hour because that's the point where you can achieve cost parity with conventional cars. Materials currently account for more than half an EV battery's cost, so if there's any hope for them being price competitive with traditional internal combustion engine cars, those costs have to come down. So does the world have what it takes to put an EV in every driveway in America? Well, that's a great question, and honestly, the jury's still out. But we do know one thing. If we want to have a chance of it happening, we have to innovate. There's an incredible amount of opportunity in this space in terms of improved battery design, manufacturing efficiencies, and battery chemistry. We also need more efficient mining techniques to access and capture these resources in commercial quantities. The demand is definitely there. The rechargeable battery market is estimated to be $112 billion by 2025, with lithium accounting for more than 70% of that. So now, all we got to do is figure out supply. Guys, if you like this video, please take two seconds share with your friends, like, and subscribe. We'll catch you guys in the next video.